What's up, Kitty? It's me, Miss T, and thanks for checking out the Answer Key TV. Today, I want to tell you guys about a purchase that I've made. It is the Dr. Bronner's Castile, Pure Castile Soap in Peppermint. First of all, you guys, it took me a while to even get this soap because it was sold out, okay? Everybody is down here <laughs> buying Dr. Bronner, so I'm like, okay, well, somebody could have told me, but they did. In several videos on YouTube that I watched and was like, we need to buy this. Okay. Finally, it was in on Amazon for $34.99. I got a two-pack, two 32-ounce two bottles, gigantic bottles that'll probably last me for forever, sis, because everything only requires a squirt. Like, I kid you not. Everything is like, at most, maybe a half a cup. And I'm talking about for three gallons of hot water to mop your floors, a half a cup. Um, <laughs> everything else is like a square here, a square there. Like it is, it's some powerful stuff, okay? Um, so just to let you know a little bit of background information, this is made with organic oils. It is a 18 in one Face, body, hair, laundry, pets, and dishes, concentrated, vegan, non-GMO, certified uh, by the, what is it, USDA, okay? <laughs> it's the truth. It's legit, okay? So if you are a pure queen, I get it. I know it. I love it. I try to keep things as clean and pure as possible. Like I said, I have five children. If you're new to the Answer Key TV, welcome. And if you're already a part of the Answer Key TV family, welcome back. Um, but if you didn't know, now you know, I'm a mom of five, so I definitely try to be very conscious of what I use on my kids, around my kids, on my tables, and, and things that they're exposed to, right? Wow. This is like... Magic in a bottle. I kid you not. 18 and 1. I was like, really? That's saying a lot, you guys. <laughs> that's, a, that's a pretty bold claim. Mm. It When it says all in one, they mean it. And it's legit. I literally use it on my countertops. And when I tell you I had five sets of sticky fingers on my countertops, I had five sets of sticky fingers on my countertops. No matter. Not for Dr. Bronner's Pure Castle Soap, no ma'am. Okay? Clean my countertops. Clean my glass stove. Okay? Splatters. Okay? Splatters. Splatters were there. They were there. Nothing. Handle it. And I will say, I was a little skeptical. I was like, okay, it's definitely going to leave my stove greasy because my countertops were super shiny. And I'm like, okay, not the same material. Um, no, it really did just like clean everything off. What I will say though, if there's anything stubborn on your countertops or your stovetop, just let it sit for a minute. Like I went and did a load of laundry and went about my business and did a couple of other things, came back and it was like a little bit of elbow grease was needed maybe. So definitely the kitchen for the kitchen. This right here is the move. I was worried about using it on my floors <laughs> because I'm like, this has got to be silky. And there's a lot of oils in here. It is going to be aggressive on these floors. Yes, will it clean them? Yes, but will we be slipping, sliding across those floors? I was a little concerned, I must say. No need. It dries, it dries quickly, and it leaves behind, like literally my entire kitchen. I can't wait to use this around the holidays. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited <laughs> because it definitely leaves behind. Not an aggressive peppermint scent and it doesn't last extremely long, but it does leave that peppermint tea scent in the air, which is super awesome. Just one added bonus, right? Um, so those were, see the countertops, the stove, the floor. Ah, also, the fruit. I definitely tried it on some fruit. Yes, I did. I didn't give it to my kids first. I tried it for myself first and I didn't taste anything. Definitely didn't feel that waxy texture on the apples or anything. So I let them soak in a little bit of water and Dr. Bronner's 
they couldn't tell and neither could I. So that was great. It definitely worked for uh, fruits. And also I moved on into my bathroom and I didn't try it on my hair, you guys. I'm actually in the middle of doing a hairline review, so I couldn't use it on my hair at this time. If and when, probably when, I try to use it on my hair, I will definitely do a separate video to let you guys know the results and my findings in that area. But I have no doubt that it will probably be fabulous as well because everything else worked out so well. It's one of those five. <laughs> Excuse the background, okay? Um, at any rate, I also tried it um, as a shaving cream. Oh my gosh. I was like, hmm, shaving cream, really? I couldn't believe that they even thought of that option, but they did. And when I tell you, I put a little tiny like pool in my palm and added water and just vigorously rubbed my hands together. It was the cleanest shave. I think I've ever had like it was so close it was so clean it was two swipes up down and done it was amazing and I was able to clean out my razor really well like it just looked and felt super clean the what is it razors uh, <laughs> blades <laughs> the blades on the razor <laughs> definitely were like clean like nothing was left there so that was fantastic as well I lastly used it on my body. Now, pause. <laughs> um, whoa, okay. Dr. Brother. <laughs> this is a lot. <laughs> but we're okay, okay, so does it get you clean 100%? Do you feel clean? Absolutely. You get a fabulous lather. The peppermint fragrance is all up in the steam. It's a fabulous experience, okay? As far as the cleaning goes. But, um, people, I would probably uh, <laughs> avoid using it in your nether regions okay it did have a trickle down effect i was not trying to do that part not to be like to you but i used something else on those regions because i had seen other videos regarding their experience and i thought you know maybe they use too much especially one guy who was absolutely hilarious i wish i could remember his name right now because i would totally tell you to check out his video I am going to find his link. I'm going to find his link and leave it in the description box because he was hilarious. I literally got the biggest chuckle out of his experience with the Dr. Broder. So, whoa, oh my gosh, you won't be disappointed. So make sure you check out his video. But with that being said, for me personally, I did have some trickle down effect and it just felt like someone turned on the fan or was standing there just I mean just <laughs> the whole time <laughs> it wasn't it it got chilly and then it was like no I feel chill I mean to be in a steamy shower and feel like the air is on down and it, it was careful around there Okay, now just, we'll just leave it at that. But with that being said, overall, I absolutely love this product. It really does what it says it does. I would have tried it on a dog, but I do not have one, not as of yet. So if or when I get one, I'll try it. Okay, I will definitely try to watch my future dog with this. I will trust it because it really is that awesome. So shout out to Dr. Braun, who isn't a real doctor, by the way. <laughs> I was like, what? You just named yourself a doctor. You said, look, I'm good at this. Okay. Um, check out their background, the history on the makers of the Dr. Bronner's Pure Castle Soap and Peppermint is, it, it's, it's interesting. So 
we have a moment, you should definitely read the bottle, read the label when you have some time, okay? Um, or, you know, Google it. But at any rate, I am giving this product tens across the board. Like I said, with the exception of your nether regions, honey, it will get everything together for you. I would use something else in those, for those parts. So, okay. So anyway, <laughs> thank you so much for checking out this video. I very much appreciate you. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment beneath this video. I would love, love, love to hear from you. And in the meantime, in between time, you take good care of yourself. And I will see you right back here at the Answer Key TV in the next video. See you soon. Bye.